In this video, we will show how the dual dagger sounds in classic synthesis patches. So first, we will use the dual dagger as a classic subtractive filter to filter a waveform. So let's have a look to our patch. We have a clock source coming from the clock upon, sent to two Arlequins context. First one is providing a stepped sequence to the braids. The second Arlequin's context is providing an envelope, so channel D is an attenuated version of channel C full range envelope, so control D is a range as control C is the release time of the envelope. Let's assign the resonance only to the low pass. Let's play a bit with the high pass and let's add a bit of resonance to the high pass section. Let's spice up a bit this patch by going stereo and let's use channel B's Arlequin's context which is an intimate version of channel A sine wave LFO. Let's engage a link switch to have a bandpass filter. Base frequency of the bandpass and bandwidth is on the low pass. Let's now have a ear on how the dual dagger sounds when self oscillating. For that purpose, we will synthesize drum sounds such as kick drums. So first, let's have a few words on the patch we have here. We have a clock upon sending a clock signal to a 4 bricks rook, which is generating a trigger sequence. Trigger sequence is sent to a Larkin's context, which is generating different envelopes. The Arlequin's context is providing two envelopes, one for the pitch on channel B, which is an attenuated version on envelopes on channel A, and a second envelope for amplitude slash resonance on channel D, which is a copy, an attenuated copy of the envelopes on channel C. So as you may know, in order to create a sound only with a filter, you need to have it self-oscillate. So let's push the resonance. And we will use only the low pass section first. Let's see what's happening. Let's send the first envelope into the low pass frequency. Let's limit a bit the range. So I think this is a pretty decent basic kick drum. Problem is, the sound never stops. Even when the frequency is low, we still have a very low frequency kind of rumble. That's why we will use a second envelope into the resonance of the low pass section. Without any resonance, the filter is not creating any sound by itself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
no use and sum up the two channels of the filter. So we'll create a kick drum sound with two signs. As you may hear, the result is pretty weird, as the two signs have very very close frequencies, so we will need to use a bit later the pan input in order to have pretty different frequencies. Let's now have a focus first on the high pass section and use the same tricks only with the high pass. Let's remove the resonance on the low pass. The high pass is providing a different character, an overdriven result, as the low pass section is a bit overdriving the resonance of the high pass. By using the two channels without using the pan input, we have this word result where the sound goes and leaves, because cutoff frequencies are very close. So let's send an offset into the pan high pass in order to have pretty different frequencies. This will lead to more interesting results. So let's now use the four filters at once to have four signs to make percussion sounds. to different territories. Let's use an LFO and go into FM percussion patches. Thanks for watching and check out our YouTube channel for more videos about the Dual Dagger.